honors sure. on the uh, Tempe Music Festival guitar. Yeah. Yeah, sure. that's virgin. It's for you. Wow. You're the first one. Michael's running the sound here Hello. and the video and five, we're all five, set. Five. Cool. All right, it's the 2007 Tempe Music Festival. I'm Thomas Bond here with Willie Porter. Just got done playing on the Fender Frontline Live stage. A Fender artist with Guild, is that right? That's right. I've been playing Guild for a few years now and it's uh, it's been a blast to be here and come back two years in a row. Very nice, very Good nice. Times. And you played both days this year. Tell us about that. That was great. Yes, I did a set last night and then I followed the Pink Spiders today, which was a great rock and roll band and just I think it pretty much energized my set as well nice, nice, some nice. spillover there very yeah. cool very cool yeah. well I know your most recent CD available light came out on your own weasel records tell us about forming your own label putting your own album out that's been great uh, just great to have the musical liberty to do what I want to do right I have a really salty four-piece band in Milwaukee Wisconsin where I'm from so I rallied those boys, recorded it all at my own studio, the engine room, and man, it was just a great experience. Got distribution through Virtual and Ryko Disc. Right. So and I, remind I can't me complain. that came out. Was it last summer? Last, last fall? September. Last fall. Yeah. So we have our ah, second summer, fall, September. Yeah. Our second single is just uh, single is just about to drop. And what's the name of that tune? Loose Gravel. Very nice. Very nice. Tell me about, I know some of the songs were informed by uh, the terminal illness of your father. Yeah. Uh, you know, I hate to bring up a topic like that, but it's so relevant to the album. Tell us about how that uh, informed some of the songwriting. Well, some of the tunes, you know, couldn't help but have that, that sort of uh, find its way into the writing process, certainly. And when I got to the point of finishing the record, I realized, you know, some of these songs, they, they do have a connective sort of spirit to them that's, that is informed by that. And... Instead of saying, well, I'm not going to allow that to go out in the world, I mean, I, I, there's nothing macabre or um, sort of uh, negative about it. It really actually is a celebration of life. Yeah, it is a part of life. And that's how my pop lived, so I figured I'm going to go forward with, uh, with that because I think it sort of raises him up in a really nice way. Yeah, definitely. I, that's awesome. Tell me about, I know uh, you've got some, received some complimentary quotes that you have on your website, Ian Anderson singing your praises and uh, <laughs> Tori Amos. How does that feel to uh, get the recognition of peers like that? Man, it's great. I mean, those were big checks to write, you know. Yeah. I mean, that, that cost me a lot of money sure. to get those well, people to yeah. say that stuff. Yeah, big names. So, you know. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're great people. And uh, just, uh, I guess it's really validating, man. You know, all the time they've been playing music, um, and touring and going out on the road. I've toured with both of those artists extensively. So for after the tour, for them to say something good about you, yeah. I think is great. Um, you know, if it were the first week of the tour, <laughs> you might wonder. Yeah. But no, they're good people and I'm really grateful. That is terrific. Well, tell us uh, what else you have in store. You got the new single coming out. What, uh, what do you have planned for the rest of 2007? In 2007, I actually have a signature guitar coming out with Guild. Awesome. Congratulations. Thank That's you wonderful. very much. That's coming out, I think, somewhere around July, if everything works out. And uh, lots of touring and recording and producing. I have a great studio in Milwaukee. Um, and in the meantime, I'm trying to raise a couple of kids. So, you know, uh, record company president and dad. So we're just trying to... <laughs> Trying to stay on the good foot there. That is a, a lot of responsibilities. How do you juggle, you know, being a family man with uh, being a touring recording artist? That's got to be a, a tough road to hoe. It's great. I just I look at it like the family has to come first. And, you know, it used to be fanatical music, music, music. And I think it's gotten easier. And, in fact, the music is better since I've sort of made them priority one and, and pushed my own ego and all that stuff to sort of the second or third place on the ladder. Kids uh, will make you do that. They sure or they will. should, at least. I think so, yeah. And if you want to get value out of the relationships with them, I think that's an imperative. Yeah, definitely, you know? definitely. Tell me about uh, coming from the Midwest, how does that sort of flavor uh, infuse your art? 
Um, or does it? I don't know. I can't really speak to it. I know that growing up, I was a huge Replacements fan. I love Neil Young. Uh, and, and I still, I'm a big fan of a telly through a basement, yeah. you know, cranked till your ears bleed. I, so I love rock and roll, and I love three-chord rock and roll. Sure. I don't really play that kind of a music, you know, I don't play that sort of music, but it does sort of come in in a strange way. Right. Um, so, and I love good songwriters, man. So, oh, sure. And I think that's a Midwestern thing. And you are one thing. yourself. Oh, you're kind. Thank ah, you. Ah, please, come on. You deserve it. Thank Tell you. Tell me about uh, how the Guild Signature Guitar came about. When did you start working on that with the with the people over there? Well, I met everybody from Guild. Uh, I was touring with Jeff Beck, and um, we were playing the Ryman Auditorium in Nashville, and many of the folks from Fender were there, and they approached me and said, hey, we'd love to work with you and build a guitar for you. And that was six or seven years ago. And then Guild uh, came on really strong. Obviously, they brought in Donnie Wade. Yeah. They bought the production facility at Tacoma. Yeah. And so now- And now part of the Fender family as well. Yes, sir. And so with that inclusion, it's really been an amazing time. I think uh, Guild is back and the quality of the instruments going back to the hallmark days when they were making incredible guitars in the 60s and the 70s right. you know they've got their production back to that level again and beyond so it sounds like i'm just speaking corporate speak but i've been there and seen the transition and i i know acoustic guitars and they're on it man yeah oh that's terrific you know? and uh, they're on it with you you got the uh, your own well, line coming out that's uh, uh, yeah that's quite an honor gratitude <laughs> right gratitude. on Anything to uh, talk about? How can the fans keep in touch with what you've got going on? What's your web information? My web is willieporter.com, and uh, Willie is, of course, spelled with a Y. And uh, my whole schedule's on there. There's a message board. There's free music to download. Um, and I'm just going to keep coming back. Terrific, terrific, terrific. Anything to uh, say to the folks that I haven't asked you about? Um, no, I'm just uh, I'm grateful, really, to be here, to be playing music. And I'm thankful to great people like the Tempe Music Festival, Fender Musical Instruments, for supporting independent artists in this time of transition in the music industry totally. when their labels are going away. And it's the time of the independence, so let's keep rocking. That sounds great. Willie Porter, 2007 Tempe Music Festival. Thanks a lot. Thank you.